So my name is Jelena. Um, I am. I live in Ireland. Last five years, we moved to Ireland five years ago, and I'm a Zumba instructor. I'm a fitness and mindset coach, and I do a little bit of designing and article writing. Writing. So I have um, my my hobbies. Um, but most people know me as a Zumba instructor. So that's my uh, that's my that's my job uh, on social media. <laughs> that's the one that I advertise the most. Yeah, I, I've seen it a lot of you uh, jumping there and having so much energy and just uh, hyping people that are in the classes. I, I think it's amazing. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? How did you start your uh, Zumba career? When did you first discover it and how? Absolutely. So I, um, I discovered Zumba, I think it was nine years ago. So I was somebody who was struggling with my self-image. Um, I always saw myself as somebody who was overweight, although I was not, but I felt that way. So I felt uncomfortable going to gyms. I tried, I really tried everything, group classes, but it wasn't until I, I, in, I uh, discovered Zumba that I found my, uh, my perfect fitness program. So I started just to lose weight, uh, to meet new friends as well, because I was quite an um, introvert. So. I didn't have many friends and Zumba was such a blessing. And after only a year and a half, I think of um, doing classes with my instructor, I became an instructor. So roughly eight years ago, I started teaching classes in my hometown, Novi Sad in Serbia. And then when we moved to Ireland, that was the first thing I did within a couple of days. I did not have a job. I did not have an apartment, anything, but I did have a class. <laughs> and I started after I think a week or something. So. It's oh, definitely, I, yeah, I, I never actually took a break from it. The longest I, I had a break was when I had my, my daughter, Maria, who's two and a half years old. And that was the longest break. And obviously now with lockdown, but we, I deliver online classes. So it's still, yeah. still something. Uh, how does that work? Can people still like enjoy it or is Zumba more? I, I always had a feeling that you would enjoy it more in a group. Um, can people still like enjoy it when they're at home alone? Uh, absolutely like there is like you know people um i think you know you have to adjust you have to uh do what you can with what you have at the moment so it's it can actually be such a great experience especially if you have loud music if you have an uh, external speaker you know and uh it's great because i deliver through zoom so mm -hmm. i can see my participants dancing with me and you know we have chat between songs or at the end of the class so it's it's a nice experience but uh, it's much harder for instructors teaching the class because there is no energy coming back as in, you know, yeah. we give so much, we might even make some noise and, you know, pretend like we're in the class, but you don't get a lot uh, back as in energy wise because they're all muted. So you can see them from distance, you know, dancing, but uh, if you have your glasses on <laughs> like I do, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's great. You know, it's a way to keep, keep dancing and keep exercising at home during lockdowns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, from the videos that I've seen, it gives you kind of the freedom to also move on your own. It's not too rigid in what the instructor does. You can also kind of improvise yourself. Uh, what elements does it besides that have? Like, um, can you tell us a little bit more for someone who maybe never seen Zumba? Or, and, and we'll put some pictures here in the podcast, definitely, so so people can see it. Absolutely. So Zumba is a fitness program that's inspired by Latin rhythm. So it's salsa, merengue, uh, re reggaeton, uh, you know, bachata as well. So there's all these different um, Latin rhythms, but it also has international rhythms. So 70% is Latin and 30% is like we had some Russian songs. <laughs> you know, we have belly dancing. Uh, we have, um, okay, flamenco is still Latin, but, you know, all these different, I dance to Serbian music as well, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's kind of a mixture of everything, but it's a great fitness program like you can adjust it uh like you said you don't have to do exactly what i'm doing if you feel uncomfortable with something you know or you just love the song so much you can just improvise you know as long as you're performing safe movement and you have enough room to dance you know and you're moving that's good mm -hmm. so everything is like there's no right or wrong in zumba and that's that's why i love it so much you know it gives mm -hmm. you the freedom um, I've seen one of your posts um i think it was on the amount of calories it burns in one hour um, can you talk a little bit about that, uh, like how much of an effect it has on the body? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a very, very effective fitness program. But again, it all depends uh, on 
on the instructor, like my class would be high, high intensity, not too high. <laughs> I don't want to scare people now, but we do a lot of jumping and we sweat a lot while other instructors, uh, you might have people who like bachata more. So it's kind of slower. And some people prefer that, which is great as well. Mm. Mine is kind of a mixture, you know, but um, there's also fitness variations. So instead of doing two left to right, we go down into a squat and, you know, we do, you know, uh, different fitness elements. So it's really good. And, uh, you know, I always uh, put in some elements from, uh, it's called Strong Nation, mm -hmm. uh, which is a high intensity class inspired by martial arts. So I, I throw in some elements, you know, for, for toning the lower body, mm -hmm. um, you know, and stuff like that. So it, it, it can be very, very effective. Mm -hmm. And it's great for somebody who's just starting with fitness. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.